Unit 7, Period 7, Section 11, we're going to answer the question today, how were we able to end the war? And the way we were able to end the war was actually a very secret plan uh, begun by Roosevelt early in the war when a famous scientist that had escaped Germany named Albert Einstein along with some other fellow German scientists presented Roosevelt with the idea that uh, atomic energy might be used to develop an atomic bomb capable of destroying a very large target like a city. And so even though the United States was suffering through the Great Depression and cash was at a premium, Roosevelt decided to attempt to fight a war and at the same time fund a very expensive project that became known as the Manhattan Project because the plan was actually hatched and begun in New York City. Here you can see a very large esophagus type safe, lead line safe, that held the core of the world's first atomic weapon. Uh, a very highly, very high ra radioactive content did this weapon have. And so it was very dangerous to, to deal with. Um, the United States was able to keep this a secret throughout the entire war, all the way to the point where the United States exploded this bomb in Los Alamos, New Mexico to practice before attempting to drop one on Japan. The core of the bomb was developed in a secret city in Tennessee known as Oak Ridge. This photograph here shows a sign uh, on the exit gate of the base that warns the people there to not talk about what they're working on. It was a complete city built by the government for the scientists and the industrial workers that were going and their families that were going to build the bomb and it was kept totally secret from the Germans successfully kept secret from the Germans throughout the entire war this is a picture of the first bomb that was exploded out in the desert as a result of the work that was done in Manhattan and in Oak Ridge Tennessee the first bomb was exploded in Los Alamos New Mexico its location is pinpointed here on this map and this work was done before um, the decision was made to drop the bomb on Japan. Here's modern tourists looking at the exact spot. You'll notice this obelisk was placed on um, signifying the exact spot where the, first, the world's first atomic bomb was exploded. This is the valley that was known as Los Alamos, and you can see the natural protections for the rest of the country that this valley provides, and the reason why dozens, if not hundreds, of atomic bombs were eventually exploded here as practice. Eventually, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt died during World War II in Warm Springs, Georgia, and his vice president, Harry S. Truman, is presented with a plan to end World War II by, by bombing two Japanese cities. He signs off on the order and the first city to be exposed to an atomic bomb was the city of Hiroshima. And here you can see the damage that the bomb did to the city. This was on August 6th, but the Japanese didn't surrender. So again, on August 9th, the second atomic bomb was dropped on the uh, military city of Nagasaki. And again, you can see the destruction that was done by the bomb. This third photograph is probably the most telling. The top photograph is what the city of Nagasaki looked like before the bomb dropped. And then you can see the, the, the level of destruction that the atomic bomb brought on Nagasaki. It's after this dropping of the bomb that Japan surrendered to the United States. And this effectively ended. World War II. This concludes Unit 7, Period 7, Section 11, um, the Manhattan Project.